Uh, we're going to find the height of this flagpole by using trigonometry today. We need two measurements. We need the distance from the pole and we need an angle to the top of the flagpole. We're going to measure 30 feet back from the flagpole using our tape measure. Okay, 25, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30 feet. We've measured out 30 feet, and now I'm going to take use a clinometer, which measures angles, to find the angle to the top of the flagpole, and that'll help us calculate by using trig the height of the flagpole. So here we go. I'm going to stand at the 30-foot mark. <clears throat> I'm going to aim the clinometer right to the ball at the very top of the flagpole. I've got to wait for it to settle. And I think it's just about done. Okay, and we have a 56 degree angle to the top of the flagpole. I need to stand, stand on it. Stand on the blue, yeah. Okay, to my eye. Okay, I just need to see your eye here, wait. Okay. All right, so it's really five feet, seven inches. Five feet seven inches to my eye, so we have to add five feet seven to the answer that we get when we calculate the height of the flagpole, because the triangle comes to my eye. So let's take a look at the diagram that describes this situation with Eric looking up to the top of the flagpole. He looked up at the flagpole at, 50, at an angle of 56 degrees with that clinometer that he used. He was 30 feet from the base of the pole. We measured that off. We also measured how tall he is, and he is, we found that his eyes were 5 feet 7 inches from the ground, which equates to 5.58 feet. Now, we can't find the height of the flagpole all at once. What we need to do is we need to make a right triangle, like this, because we're going to use a sine, cosine, or tangent function to do that, and then we can add in the height of his eyes later. Okay. So here's our right triangle. Here's the part we're going to find. We're going to use 56 degrees. So that means we're going to have to use tangent because tangent is opposite side, which is x, over adjacent side, which is 30. It's 30 feet from his feet to the pole, so it's also 30 feet from his eyes to the pole. So our equation to solve this is tangent of 56 is equal to x over 30. Now, in order to solve this equation, we're going to need to use our calculator. And before you do any calculations using sine, cosine, or tangent on a graphing calculator, make sure that you set the mode to degrees. So in order to do this on the calculator, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to multiply by 30. So 30 times the tangent of 56 is equal to x. And that comes out to 44 point 48 feet. So what that means is that the flagpole is 44.48 feet taller than the level with Eric's eyes. To find the total height of the flagpole, we need to finally add in the height Eric's eyes are from the ground, 44.48 plus 5.58 is a total of 50.06 so this means that the flagpole is a total of 50.06 feet tall.